Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. This is an adult channel that focuses on hobbies of colouring, diamond painting, reading and photography. They're all adult based activities. Um, so if you're not an adult, please click out now. This is for adults. We discuss adult things here. <coughs> and um, it's a channel for relaxation and enjoying ourselves and getting over the stresses and anxieties of the day. I've been very busy today. I don't know about you guys. So what have you been up to? Hello everybody, first of all. What have you been up to? So today, we've been doing our mad Christmas tidy up, um, getting the dining room, which is where I'm filming now, ready for Christmas dinner. I've actually got a practically clear table. I have not now, there's pens over it, and of course there's bits of wrapping paper. Because um, not only have we done that, we've been wrapping presents. Uh, the only presents we've got up now are my brother's birthday presents, which is his birthday's Boxing Day, and his Christmas presents and Jennifer's Christmas presents. Um, I'll do his tomorrow night, and then Jennifer's will be done when she's at nursery on Christmas Eve, because me and Paul are both up. And then they'll have to go upstairs out of the way, because she now knows how to unwrap presents. So, of course, we can't leave anything under the tree, like we'd normally have everything under the tree Christmas Eve. Um, but no. No, not at all. Not anymore. So we're going to try and finish this um, pattern today, if we can. Um, I do have a friend. My friend is currently charging his phone and he's going to flip through all his records for me. So I may have to break this up into two bits, although you'll see it all in one go. So yeah, Jennifer and Paul are in bed. I think the Mad Tidy Up actually... Uh, knackered Paul out. It, to me fair, it did for me as well, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I, I can't sleep unless I go to bed later. So yeah, today I've been listening to records because Jennifer gets up, she wants CBBS on all day, so oh my god, after six hours of CBBS. It's not, we do turn it off part way through the day. Um, especially if she's gonna, when she has a nap, we turn it off. But while we were clearing up, it was good to have that on in the background um, so that she was occupied while we were clearing up. Now, it didn't last the entire time we cleared up. We had to get her out a couple of times so she could play, but. She's good as gold, really, she is. So we're just uh, colouring in this wheel. I was going to do this as oranges and lemons, wasn't I? And, I, and I've not. I've done it as candy cane. Uh, that just shows you how I don't plan anything and I wasn't thinking straight. So there we go. I'm so not with it. I'll do this one, these ones on these. This house is orange and lemons. And we'll do that next so don't forget. <laughs> Terrible, aren't I? Absolutely horrendous. I've got so many whips that although I probably will start other pictures, when we do our next colouring chat, which might be Christmas Eve, I'm going to do one Christmas Eve morning before everybody gets up and then upload it Christmas Eve because I'm that kind of mad. Um, I want to try um, and do that so we've got one going out for Christmas Eve um, but we're going to once we finish this one hopefully today might be tomorrow um, we're going to uh, that's my phone going off that's George my friend George uh, just carry on with doing one of my other whips so um, I am colouring at the moment. I was doing a Colourful Life Anne's challenge. I'm not going to have it done in time to send it to her to, for her to show in the video, but you'll see it in my finished pages where she said, just get some markers and just put down any colour um, on the page and not plan it out. Let me just see what this is. So, yeah. Um, I've got 
what I was saying. Don't know. I use this orange out of these Link Shine ones for the orange and lemons because I haven't used that yet and I really want to try it. So we'll give it a go. Um, but yeah, we've been listening to I've been listening to records all evening. Ooh, that's a very nice colour. Whether or not this will actually work. Oh, it will actually. Excellent. On this one it will. I don't know if it will on the other ones, but we'll try. Because um, I collect vinyl records as well. Uh, and those of you who are uh, subscribed to my other channel, The Vinyl Vlog, I know there's not many of you, because I've hard I hardly ever post on there, I haven't posted on there for ages. I actually filmed a record haul today, so that will be up on that channel tomorrow. I'm going to go and edit it together in a bit. Same as this video, will, well, it'll be up on the same day as this video. So this video will be up on Sunday the 22nd and the vinyl vlog one will be up on the vinyl, the haul will be on the, oh, I can't speak, the haul will be on the vinyl vlog channel on the 22nd as well. So I've uploaded another diamond painting. I've done a lot more diamond painting since the video that you might have watched which it went up on Saturday. Um, and it is starting to look like a collie now, so that's good news. Because I was starting to think, it doesn't look anything like a collie. But now it is, so I'm really happy with that. It's coming on lovely. And I do like it. I must admit, I went out on Friday yesterday, because I'm playing this on Saturday night, for the afternoon, just for a couple of hours, an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. And, um had two and a half pints so I drank a fair bit in, in the time I was there I was a bit tiddly and I was diamond painting and they were going everywhere I, thought, I can't do this so I'm actually talking to my friend George at the same time so I do apologize but, so yes so oh so you'll have seen that but yeah I was th I've, I've got a load of records that need listening to because they're in the way for Christmas I'm trying to get some of them um, so there's not so many down here and they're up in the um oops that's fine up in the room they're actually they actually live in the bedroom at the moment they won't live in the bedroom forever though because they'll be coming down here when we get our dining room sorted out so i call our house it's, it's the crystal maze <laughs> because we've got we don't have rooms we have zones so upstairs we have the sleeping zone and then we have the, the viewing zone, which is where the TV is. The listening zone, which is the dining room, where we keep all the CDs and stuff. And then out in the garden, we've got the, I don't know what zone, but uh, it's where the crystal dome is. <laughs> it's, it's the shed. Uh, no, it's, the, you know, it's, it's just the outside zone. It's just, it's just me being silly. So yeah, so we're just doing these little oranges and lemons. Which is nice. I know it's more of a pinwheel but uh, it'll do. I do like this pattern and I like this book and I really want to finish this picture and like so when we do the next one once we finish this which will be Christmas Eve's. If I don't finish this one tonight we'll do another one tomorrow just to finish it and we will be doing goes in there, um, one of the Christmas whips I've got. So I've got a load of whips. Let's try and get some different colours out. Um, so for instance, I have got um, a whip in the Hannah Lynn book, uh, Whimsy Girls Christmas. I've got a whip in Seasons and I've got a whip in the Colour in Heaven magazine. So I'm going to try And do one of those so we'll probably do something like either let me know what you want to see do you want to see me do the color in heaven picture uh, whimsy girls christmas or seasons let me know what you want to see me do on christmas eve as one of my whips trying to f finish it um let me know as soon as you can because obviously i will be coloring tomorrow and i might finish one of those off but saying that i've got a lot of other books that i can color in that i haven't even started and i got so many christmas books 
I went a bit mad, you can't see what I'm doing, I went a bit mad with the Christmas books this year, didn't I? I really did, I don't know why I did it, but I got so many Christmas books this year. Ugh. It's just wrong. I just went. I was. I just went stupidly mad. I'll do that a different colour purple in in there, just so that it's different. <laughs> different. <laughs> the purple in there. We got a pinky purple. We we'll use that one out of the link shines. I think. See what's that? It might even be the same colour. Who knows? Um. I just went a bit mad on. Christmas books and it's very naughty. I know the new Colour in Heaven magazine's out Christmas Eve and it's dark fantasy. Now I don't know whether that's going to be my first one or not. I, it hasn't arrived yet but they did say seven weeks so it might be the one after it and I'm, I'm loath to buy it but I do really want it. Do you know what I mean? I really want dark fantasy. It's my kind of thing. Um, Um, yeah, so I really want it. I don't want to miss it, but I'm a bit wor worried that if I actually order it or go out and buy it, I'll get end up with two of them. Never that bad because you can always reuse them. But yeah, I really, really want it. So, uh, ooh, look at how dark that purple is. Doesn't look that dark on the top, does it? Wow, I like that. Are you all ready for Christmas? Like I said, I've only got a few bits to do. <coughs> Tomorrow we go shopping and buy cards and stuff for various people. Now I'm not buying tons of cards because we I just haven't got the money to not waste because I don't think it's a waste of money when you're buying cards for somebody you love. But to spend, we really don't have the money. Um, because normally, I would get one, I mean my dad's birthday is Christmas Eve, so we'd get one from me and Paul and one from Jennifer. And then obviously on Christmas Day, he'd get one from me and Paul and one from Jennifer. Obviously that would be my mum and dad. So that's already four cards. Then I'd have to get one from my brother, from us, and one from Jennifer. So that makes six. And then Christopher's birthday is Boxing Day, so that would make eight. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to literally give cards from all of us from the family. So that will take it down to four cards instead of eight, so it halves it. So it would be one for Dad on his birthday, one for Chris on his birthday, and one for Mum and Dad, and one for Chris on Christmas Day. You may think that sounds really mean, and it, it's just, just don't have the money to spend this year on too many cards. I don't know why I've given her black eyes, but I have, okay. I'm so tired. Use this Link Shine Gold. I do like these Link Shine pens and I will buy them again because, like I said, as long as they're available, they weren't very expensive. And I do like the colours. The colours are really nice. They go on lovely. I'm just doing all the, the baubles gold as well and all the tinsel. There's no gold on it yet, really, so... So I've been watching a few colouring videos lately. I mean, and not just hauls, because I do like the hauls. I've been watching some of the colouring chats and listening to people. Like I said, I was watching Anne over at A Colourful Life and her channel. Um, there we go. And uh, doing her challenge. Um, I'm using the 100 Crayola Super Tips. Now, it's coming on well and I've nearly finished it. I just... I just don't have the time to do too much because I can only do it at certain points in the day. So if I'm filming like I am now, I don't have time to colour other than what I'm doing. So I did a bit of it earlier on when uh, I'm not sure what was going on. Something was happening. Paul and Paul was up to something with Jennifer. 
Um, so, I had no idea this was silver when I picked it up. It wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be a different colour, but it'll do. It'll only be his bow tie. And we'll do the band on his top hat. Here. Go. I can go there. This is the colour I actually wanted. That's fine. So yeah, I've been listening to records most of the evening. I've listened to Paul McCartney to uh, give my regards to Broad Street to Elvis Records. Um, Elvis for Everyone and Moody Blue and then we listened to one Shirley Bassey album which was and We Were Lovers and then we listened to what did we listen to ABBA the album and then the Jackson 5 Greatest Hits and then I put on Judy Garland a double album hits album and that's really I've got one side of the Judy Garland to go excuse me I'm going to yawn <sighs> Yeah, I've got one side of the Judy Garland album to go. Um, so I'll listen to in a bit. Once I've uh, done this. Because I don't think I would get done for it, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to give them all different coloured eyes. So you can have green ones. I do enjoy this colour in Lark, you know. And my friend Bev, who I went out with on Friday, she wants to do a diamond painting. She wants one of a dog and she wants one of a deer for her husband because he goes shooting. So I was showing her the ones on AliExpress that you can get. My list is going up on ones I want. So like I said, I want a Marilyn one. I want a few Disney ones for Jennifer's bedroom. I want an, an Elvis one for Mum for Christmas next year and I know which Elvis one I'm going to get, it's beautiful. And then I want a Wizard of Oz one and I know which one I want of that as well. And then I want to get a Beatles one for in the listening zone. And I know which, which one it is, it's a picture of them in their um, outfits from the Sgt Pepper cover. I'd love to do the Sgt Pepper cover, it's not available. and. <laughs> I would imagine it would be horrendously de difficult. You'd have to get a big one because the details in it are so amazing. So, but the ones that are just in the costumes would be good enough and he'd be happy with that. He said he'd love it. But that would be it to come up in, in this room here, along with my autograph photograph of Huey Lewis when I get it framed. And some, possibly some other pictures. At the moment, we've got a picture of Marilyn up here. She's in the wrong side. And there's a poster on the wall behind me of a album album artwork for the Beautiful South's Solid Bronze Hits album um, which is a big poster I bought off of eBay many 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 moons ago she's going to be pink and blue no she's going to be pink because she's got hearts that's the purple where's the pink that's the pink so we're going to give her a pink outer heart there. Most of it will be pink, and then we'll do the inside of that purple, I think. And what else is pink? So, hello to all my new subscribers again. I seem to get them coming in in groups and it's very nice to have you with me and I hope you'll stay and support the channel just by watching. I don't expect anything from you other than that you sub stay subscribed if you want to, if you don't that's fine too, but just uh, watch the videos because I need to get my watch time up. I'm, I'm still way off of having enough for monetizing the account. Um, I still need 300 odd nearly 400 subscribers to be fair 
just over 600. Uh, but my watch hours aren't even at 2,000, so I need more watch hours. So I need 4,000 watch hours as well. Um, but I am happy to have you here, and if there's a certain thing you want to see, or a certain colouring book you want to see, please let me know. I haven't done a, uh, my complete colouring book collection as yet, but most of them you should be able to see through the hauls. There will be a few that I've got that you haven't seen. But in January, one of my videos will be, and I'll probably film it upstairs because that's where I keep my colouring books most of the time, a complete colouring book collection, as well as my completed pages. Now, they will be two separate books. I will not be flipping through any of the books. I will just be showing you the front and back. And then if you want a full flip through, you can either have a look in uh, at the channel. I will uh, be sorting out playlists soon. And you'll be able to see what's available flip throughs and uh, so on. So I'm going to, at the moment I've got a colouring playlist but I'm actually going to subdivide it into colouring charts, colouring book and supply hauls um, and, and so on, stuff like that. So I will carry on doing that. This dark purple is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. So, you you know, I'll do flip through. So you'll be able to have a quick look in there and see what uh, we've already flipped through. And if you want a flip through of anything, I can do one. It's not a problem. Although for most of the books, there probably are already flip throughs on there. So I do try and, and flip through books as and when I get them. Sometimes it's not so easy, but I do try. Uh, we need her mouth. She have this colour. I'm doing them all different colours. <laughs> and she have dark blue eyes. <laughs> Ooh. And I've missed the bow on the top. A little bit of the bow. There we go. So we are getting there with this now. Look, it is slowly getting there. I do like this this book. I do like the colour it books. I might get the steampunk one next year. I've seen it and I think I like it. I have seen a flip through of it on YouTube. There are a few of them out there if you want to have a look. It looks good. I, I do, I am probably gonna get that one. But like I said, I do want to get the Clara Markova book. So there won't be that many hauls in the first four months of the year because the Clara Markova books are like 30 pound each to get them to the UK. And obviously there's four of them. Um, so I might, might not get them every month, um, one every month, but that was my plan. But that means that's 30 quid that I can't spend on other books. And 30 quid for me would be like a couple of Jade Summers, a Hannah Lynn, a Mandala book, something else. Obviously I'll be getting Colour in Heaven every four weeks because I am now a subscriber. Which is fabulosa, fantabulosa. Um, yeah. It's all going, eh? It's so quiet now, the record's finished. Oh yeah, I was going to do that green and I can't remember what green it was. I think it was this one. I'm hoping it was this one because that's the colour I'm going to put in there anyway. It looks similar, doesn't that? It's going to dry lighter. And there's a little bit missing. Just here. Let's get that one out. So, it's coming on. We've really only got this one gingerbread man to finish off, and then the houses, and put some white Winker Stella on the white bit. The bits we're leaving white. So oh, I did miss a bit there. Hang on, where's it gone there? But I missed one. So it's not going to be too long. Just check my phone to make sure there's nothing there. Me whispering to myself. Right now. My friend's charging up his phone before he can do the, the thing because he's, uh, it needs, um, his battery was at 3% or something. I, I don't know about that because my battery's quite good. 
and I have been using my phone so I've been taking lots of photographs of record covers and posting them on Instagram. Once I finish this one I'll post this on Instagram. If we ever get it finished. So we're going to be doing a weekly vlog next week guys. I was going to do it this week and then I forgot, forgot, totally forgot. Took the camera with me and forgot. It's because it is so dark but because I'm off work most of the week, because it's Christmas, I'm like, let's, let us do a, a weekly one. Now what colour should I do him? We've got a lot of blue, but I do like blue and we haven't used blue on a gingerbread man yet. So it's going to have to be the two blues. Like I said, I am trying to get rid of some of these pens because I've got so many gels at the moment. Oh dear. Ooh. Actually, where's, I don't know which brand that was. It's going to have to be this one. I've missed in between there as well close enough close enough his arm's a bit burnt that's the problem when you ever you miss bits and then you notice them and you think what pen did i use ah what am i looking for oh yeah do his leg bits dear me oh dear me we haven't actually used this dark blue. I don't know what blues we used now. I know one of the blues we used. I can't remember what the other one is. So what are the plans for the new year then in the channel? Well, <clears throat> I have got to seriously crack down and get on with, crack on with my eBay stuff. Now, I'm hoping, I mean I know most eBay people are finishing work, or have finished work, some of them have anyway, because nothing's going to get delivered now until after Christmas, but I'm not one of those people who will stop working just because it's Christmas. Um, I guess it's maybe because of my dad, he, he worked in a butcher shop, so he worked till lunchtime Christmas Eve, shut at lunchtime, and then cleaned up and did any deliveries he had to do before coming home at the normal, normal time. Now, I make a point of not working Christmas Eve because it's actually his birthday. So he would go to work on his birthday. I never go to work on my birthday. I always have it off because that's the way I am. I like having my birthday off. We always go on a holiday. Um, so I will actually probably still be, if not listing, drafting. Because I do want to, I mean, I, you do get sales over Christmas. So I want to, because the sale I go to that where I get a lot of my clothing stock is not open now until the 7th of January, which gives me a good chance to try and catch up with all the stuff I need to get listed, um, to get it photographed and measured, packed up away, numbered, put away in its boxes and so on, and clear the spare room out because we need to do some furniture moving upstairs. So we need that room cleared. So if I can get all my clothing photographed, measured, drafted and packed into the boxes, even if I'm not putting them live, yeah, that's good, it's done. I mean, I am in profit for the month. So I'm actually happy with that. It's not a huge profit, but it is a profit. And part of the reason I'm not selling much is because a clothing sales always take a dive in December because people are buying Christmas presents. It's actually started picking up a bit now and I'm not listing anything. I've got a ton of stuff to list, including cameras. So there's a load of stuff upstairs that needs to be photographed that's cameras, or there's some rubber stamps that I um, picked up to sell. He needs eyes. What colour kind of eyes have we done with black? We've done blue, dark blue, we've done green. Ugh, I'm tired, let's do brown. Excuse me, coughing. That's sort of a red. Ooh, he's a bit freaky, isn't he? Supposed to be round. Right now, let's find the brown. That's the brown. Yeah, I like that brown. There isn't a brown in there. Not seeing anyone really there. So let's put these ones away. Well, not away, but out of the way, because I might need them for something else. That looks like a brown. That's a brown. 
And then we've got the browns in this one, which are quite, there's a light one in here. This one's a light one. Yeah, I think it gets to around 30 minutes and then it just stops for some reason. So just stopped. I've started it again. Let's crack on. I missed an orange and lemon. Oh, they're on the top as well. I'll do those as orange and lemons as well. So we'll use this light one here and we'll use the dark one in the middle. on all this. I really want to finish this tonight even if it takes us over an hour. I know it's a long old haul. Some people like long videos, other people don't. The way I look with long videos you can always watch a bit of it and then if you get tired you can go to bed and then get start again and watch a bit more. That's what I tend to do if I get to a long video. I'll watch half of it and then I'll stop and I'll go back to it again. I must admit, obviously, the last one of Anne's, I watched the whole thing because I was sitting in Starbucks having a nice cup of tea and then a hot chocolate. Oh, I, had a, I had a muffin as well, lemon. Oh, I love lemon cake. Lemon cake, I must admit, is my favourite. So. I've enjoyed this picture. It's taken longer than I thought it would. It's a lot more detailed than I thought it would be, but I do like it. Like I said, we are very long into it and we're probably gonna run out of battery juice soon. It's a good job I got a ton of batteries for this camera. I've actually found the other one now. I found it today somewhere. I can't remember where it was now, but I did find it. I think it was in a camera bag and I've put it over to be charged. So I've got the four, which is great when you're making a lot of videos like I do. And if, if I wanted to make videos until midnight, two o'clock in the morning, I really could because I've got a ton of memory cards as well. So if this one fills up, it says, oh, you've run out of memory space. I should just go and get another one. I've got a 64 gig one here somewhere as well, so I could always pop that one in and do it because there's a few flip throughs I want to do books I bought. Not because I want to keep filling the channel up with rubbish, it's just I like doing the flip throughs and it gives me a good reason to look at the pictures in a book because I find that I'll, I'll buy a book because I see a few pictures of it and I think, yeah, it looks good. And then I don't really look through it and then I don't use it, so the flip throughs are for me as well as for you guys, so. I will sort out my uh, go to YouTube ed, uh, YouTube studio and start sorting out the um, playlists. So next year I will be working on the two channels I've got and I will be starting a third one on classic movies. So for me, a classic movie can be anything. It could be what is termed a classic movie by the critics or what I personally term a classic movie so I would I would term it's just gonna be about movies but I'm not so much modern it will be older ones there will be the odd old new one because I, I want to go to the cinema and see two films next summer I want to see Ghostbusters Afterlife and I want to see Wonder Woman 84 because I love Wonder Woman and I still haven't watched the original but the, the first film I've obviously watched the original TV series with Linda Carter I've got that on DVD and I've got the film on Blu-ray and it's one of the things I plan on watching New Year's Day. And New Year's Day I'm just going to sit down and have a bit of a movie fest when Jennifer's gone to bed. New, well, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day not so much. I'll be up late but not as late as that because I have to go work on the 2nd of January sadly. But um, yeah, I plan on watching at least one film a week, preferably more. And now it can be a new film, it could be a film I've seen before. It can be a film that's old, but I've never seen. I've got a few of those because I was read, I was watching the um, Daphne du Maurier. I, I watched Rebecca and I bought Jamaica in as well. I've also got Wuthering Heights. I've never watched that. The old, the, the, the I think it's Olivier. I'm not sure. Um, I liked Rebecca, although of course it wasn't exactly as the book was. 
understandably, but it wasn't. But I did enjoy the film. I, I really enjoyed it because I knew the story and I really liked Daphne and Du Maurier and um, Jamaica Ends, obviously, in Cornwall, which is one of my favourite places. And I don't know, I've probably told you this before, but my dad nearly bought the Jamaica Inn in the 70s, which he was looking, at, looking to buy a pub a few times. He wanted to buy a pub and he almost bought a couple. One he was very close to to buy when it fell through when the owner died, sadly. Um, amazing to think what might have happened if he'd have bought that pub. And he was offered the Jamaica Inn in the 70s, but uh, he didn't buy it. So. It was one of the ones he was offered. But there you go. Claimed theme. What could have been and what is? You know, things happen. We make decisions and who knows which way our lives would have changed if we'd have done something differently. And, it, you know, my life would have been totally different if he'd have bought a pub. Jamaica in or no, because he was looking at one at Brighton at one point, I think, or somewhere down West Sussex Way. I vaguely remember travelling to see some of them. Nearly moved to Australia at one point, but I think that was before I was born. It's when they did the £10 pommies in the 60s, early 70s. My mum's friend Nita went. And my mum and dad were all set to go, but and her dad was supposed to come with us. My granddad, sadly passed now. And literally a few days before they were due to go, he said, oh, I'll follow you later. And she knew he never would, so they never went. But then, when my dad was 15, he was offered the chance to, to go and train as a butcher and work as a butcher in Canada. So if he'd have done that, I wouldn't even be here talking to you now and waffling on about this sort of nonsense you don't really want to know about. But yes, I bought, I buy movies on DVD. I like to own things. I totally get why streaming is good and I'm all for it. I am. But I like to physically own something. I like to physically be able to hold a box in my hand and know that I can watch that. As long as that DVD plays and I've got something to play it on, I can watch that film. The thing with streaming is you're reliant on the streaming service, keeping those things available for you to watch them. And they don't. They do take stuff off. And I would be gutted to lose some of the films I've got. There are films I want I can't get. So if somebody streamed them, I'd be happily watching them. Um, they're particularly old ones. I love old movies. So I've just got to think about what I'm going to do with the old movie channel. I still haven't thought of a name yet. I did ask Bev. She thinks it's a great idea to do one because she loves movies as well. Um, and she said, oh yeah, that'd be good, classic movies. And that'll be all my Marilyn videos will be going up on there now instead of on here. The ones that are on it will probably just stay on here and I'll probably film new versions of some of them. So for instance, when we've done the um, Marilyn book tour, we'll redo it, because it needs updating anyway. Yeah, I've got a few more since then. There's some smudges on this. Oh, that's my friend. Let's see if he's ready. Ah, right. Okay, so... Ah, he's going to send them over on Messenger so I can watch them later. So that's good. We'll just carry on with our colouring then for now. And I will watch them on Messenger on Facebook later. We are getting through these houses now. We are nearly done. So I'm really happy with this. I like this. They, I mean, obviously, because I'm using gel pens, I'm kind of smudging it with my hands every time I use it. So, sadly, we will have a bit of smudging. But, do you know what? I don't care. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just relaxing, and it's, it's nice just to sit here and... Uh, have a good long colour in a chat with you guys who are my friends. Wherever you are in the world, it's just great to know you're there. So that we do roll call if you're watching this and you've made it this far, because I know we're about 40 minutes in. If you made it this far, can can you leave a comment down below with just let me know where you are in the world? You know, if you're in the US or Canada or Australia or Britain. You know, you don't have to put too much details, just be interested to know where you all are from. So I'm from 
South Wales. Although I wasn't born here, but I live in South Wales. I was born just over the Severn Bridge in Bristol, um, at the Bristol Maternity Hospital, as was my younger brother Chris. And uh, we moved to South Wales in around 1981, 82, I'm not 100% sure. And we moved to the town I live in now in 1989. I've also lived in uh, Cornwall. I've lived in the Midlands. I've lived in London. I get around. Or oh, I did. I don't so much now. So I'm just so happy to be here. Wales is a lovely and beautiful country. And although the people were a bit funny in the old days, when we first moved here, you know, the you know, English taking over Welsh homes. The, the Where we are now, the Welsh people are just the best. They're so nice. And they'll help you. And they will help you. So. I am covered in glitter. Ugh. Have a good shower in the morning. That's probably another video from George. Yep. He's just sending me videos of his record, so I'll watch that in a minute and then I'll message him back. I just want to do this because we're nearly at the end now, so I'm thinking we'll be 40 minutes in or so. We're on the last house now, just doing the outside edge. It's not going to take too long to do so much, though. I've got to decide how, well, what colour to do these bauble things and I haven't done the lemon part of the oranges and lemons and I've still got another orange and lemon to go but yeah, yeah that's a problem you do tend to smudge this stuff but it doesn't matter it's all a bit of fun isn't it does relax me and it's nice to do this before bed because I always film my videos before going to bed because obviously it's hard to film during the day because of Jennifer and Paul he doesn't want to hear me rambling on to you about nothing in particular or well, we do talk about proper things don't we so but he, he doesn't really want to which one am I even working on? You can't even see her. God, I'm so useless today. Anyway, we are going to call it a day on this one. And I'll finish it off screen anyway. And uh, There's only a little bit left now. so I'm going to do a darker brown on the inside. Here and on the door. And then I'm going to put a blue around there, I think. Around here orange and lemon and I've got to do the lemon on all of those blue in the little windows and I'll use the blue from a different set um, and that's it really and then white on there so I'm actually going to call it a day I think this is enough don't you do you think so or do you want to see a bit more shall we just have a look at doing the lemons we'll use this this yellow here we'll just do the lemons in here can you see that yeah well that's a nice yellow I don't want to diddle you out of the full picture, but I don't want to keep you for too long. <laughs> I know some of you really like the long ones, and some of you don't, so... Oh, I like that. That looks really nice, those orange and lemons. I'll just put some lemon in here, and I'll put the orange in later. I really don't want to keep you all day. <laughs> Oh, I missed a bit with the light one. Where did the light one go? That's this one, isn't it? I missed this one here, this roundel. <sighs> Dear me, I'm terrible. So hopeless sometimes. I think I'm going to do those sort of like light, light green and pink out of the um, big set. It's only a big set because I haven't split them up yet. So I've got to be honest, although I do use the other gel pens, I mostly use the glitter ones. Because I love the glitter pens. 
you might have noticed that especially this time of year Christmas is a great time for using glitter you could put on all lots and lots of glitter and nobody can say a thing because it's Christmas I love it, this is great. I've got a lot of editing to do, you still can't see what I'm doing, this is why I'm so useless. Because um, I've got this one still, I've got the vinyl vlog to do. I did want to do some flip throughs, but they might have to wait until tomorrow, although they don't take long to film, but I am covered in glitter, so I don't really want to get glitter all over them. Although one of them's a winter one, so yes, that will have a lot of glitter on it when we do finally do it. Yay! More glitter. Oh, she says any exclusive for glitter, isn't that, eh? We're actually getting there now, we're nearly done. There isn't a lot left, to be fair. Just the windows and the... This bit of the lemon, orange and lemons. Oh, there's another one. Oh, bless him. He's working on I can't wait to watch these later. Let me just check it. Yeah, another video. Excellent. I'll be watching those in a minute. <laughs> like, and like me, I do put mine on um, YouTube, don't I? So I'm going to use. Is that that's is that a sparkly one or is it metallic? It's kind of a metallicy one, but it's a very nice pink. So oh, that's a oh yeah, fluorescent pink. I will do those baubles on there. These fluorescents don't work as well, but it is glittery as well. There's a bit of glitter in there, not a lot, but there is a bit. And the thing is, if it's not glittery enough, I can always go over it with um, a Winker Stella. So, oh, let's give this a rub. As the thing with gel pens, I find unless you're actually using the glitter ones, they can be. Very, very scratchy. There you go. Can be very scratchy. See, now Jennifer doesn't get just glitter pens and gel pens. She doesn't know how they work. She thinks they should work like felt pens and you should be just able to scroll it like that. And of course, it doesn't work like that. You have to hold them in a certain way. Yeah, I like this pink. I know I've got to do the orange on the top part, but we are nearly done. We are just literally doing these pink bits. I mean, even the doors I'm going to do in the dark brown. As long as I don't run out of it. Wow, this is looking good. I like this picture. I've enjoyed this. And that fluorescent pink is just adding to the whole fantasy look. So it will be nice to actually do um, the whip one next video, which will be a pencil one more than likely. Um, if we do Seasons or Hannah Lynn, we're using the polychromos in both. And if we do the Colour in Heaven, we're using Touch 5 markers and Sharpies. So there's a marker one, so it's not going to be getting glitter everywhere. I mean, we've done 50 minutes, so I'm actually going to just finish these pink ones on the next house and I'm going to call it a day there, otherwise we'll be here until midnight, which I could do, but it's not fair. I'm not going to keep you any longer while I finish this off. I will finish this off off camera tonight and the next time you see it will be completed in my completed pages for December, which at the moment is not looking very good. I've completed five. And partly that's because I started that blinking diamond painting and I've done hours on it and I've still got tons to do. So I've had two days now, well, Saturday, I did a bit yesterday. I haven't done any today, I'm having a day off of it. Just simply because it's just so much. And there's a pen missing from there, it's this light brown one. That can go in there. So I'm just gonna show you this now and then I'm gonna carry on and finish it off. And like I said, so the next time you see this, it'll be complete and it'll be in my completed pages collection. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in a day or so with uh, one of my works in progress. Like I said, let me know what one you want to see me finish. 
and other than this one because it will be done and I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely day. Bye. Oh.